Hello, and welcome to Palindrome ASMR, the show where I normally speak quietly into a microphone because it makes people relaxed. But today, I will be doing, I will be continuing my RPG Maker Let's Make a Game ASMR. Now, this video is meant to help you relax. I know some people may be interested in what I'm doing, but for the most part, this is mainly a video so that you can listen to me speak about a subject in a ASMR-ish voice. Now, I speak as softly as possible and as slowly as possible so that I can properly so that I can properly um, relax you. Now, uh, I probably was speaking a little bit too loud with those headphones on, and as you can hear, there is a fan going in the background because it is cold in here, and there is clicking, and there is background music. You can hear, this is the town theme from the RPG Maker uh, library. Now, RPG Maker is a game in which you can make your very own RPG. My previous RPG Maker video did very well, and so I am making a third because it did well, and I want to do these kinds of things. Um, let's see. This the RPG Maker is a software that, well, you can make your own games. Um, last episode, I was working on the Angels base because this game is called Galaxy's Angels. Now, the inspiration for this game was a game called Cthulhu Saves the World. And in this game, Cthulhu saves the world. But there is a bonus mode where you play only as the female characters in the game, and it is called Cthulhu's Angels. And I really liked that game because it had an all-female cast and they were all just awesome characters. So I wanted to make a game like that. This game is a long-term project. I will probably be making many episodes of RPG Maker Let's Make a Game ASMR. Uh, this is the overworld. As you can see, there are lots of towns, and each town takes days of work to complete. Right now, I am working on Aphrodis Town. So the story so far is that the girls got a mysterious letter from a person telling them to come under cover of night to Aphrodis Town. This is Aphrodis Town. It has five houses and um, each uh, 11 citizens who I will... Uh, I forgot to open up my... I forgot to open up my idea document. There we go. This is where I keep track of all of the information that is going to go in my game. Now, let's get started. I have already created the map of Aphrodis Town, and now I have to populate it with its inhabitants. So, this is going, let's see, I, uh, let's get right into it. So, I create a new map and call it Upper right. All right. Upper right. Upper right. Let's see. Grim Family House. The Grim Family House is what it will be called. Tile set. Inside. Autoplay background music. Let's see. Let's listen to some background music samples. Let's listen to some background music samples. Uh... All right, so this town will have a town two theme. Uh, I have to, let's see, I have to play around with my voice a bit because it's already a little bit sore because I read aloud for today's video. And I will be speaking in as low and as calm a voice as possible. So I hope you can hear this. Let's see, this is a good theme song for this town. Um, alright, town two. Now, let's see, let's take the Aphrodis and autoplay background music, town two. Now, a lot of the music in this game is kind of repetitive because there is so little of it. Uh, I did gain some music, some royalty music 
online that we can use in our video game here. Now the most labor intensive task of creating a town is the um, people, is creating the creating the maps and creating the people. Now the houses are actually kind of fun to create. Um, let's see. We are going f at first. The first step in building a house is creating the black, black, black background, and then you create the floor, and then around the floor, you create walls. Mm, no, this goes right here. And now, as I create, I will be trying to just talk about random things. Um. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess there's not really much to talk about. Let's talk politics. Yes, let's talk politics while I create this house. Now, I actually don't like politics. Politics to me are, uh, frankly, my political position is that no one knows anything in politics. Is is it, My position is that when people say they know something about how the world works, they, in fact, do not know what they are talking about. That is my position on the matter. And it's as simple as that. I also think that the world is very unlikely to ever experience another great war like World War One or World War Two, because of, frankly, the internet. I think the internet is uh, the thing that is going to keep the world from going into another war. Because war, frankly, is nasty. War is nasty. And with the availability of knowledge from the internet, uh, creating a, a sort of culture of information what happens is that the instant some kind of war happens, people know about it. And since most countries in the world today are democracies, when people fight against a war, they will um, stop it, essentially. Basically, the idea is that the citizens are empowered, and when the citizens are empowered, they don't go to war. That's, that's basically my thing. But I just preface this by saying no one knows anything. So you can take what you will from that. I think no one knows anything, and neither do I. I do not know anything. I do not know a single thing about politics. And I will happily admit that. <laughs> but it is my opinion, read opinion, that you really shouldn't be worried about the way the world is going today because everything will work out just fine. Everything will work out just fine. That is my opinion. I am a very optimistic person, as you can probably tell. <laughs> now, what else is there to talk about? Uh, well, what I'm doing here is I am using a just decorating the house. In this game there is a lot of tedious labor of building houses and decorating them. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. So I think I will use this format as a podcast essentially. Let's see, is my face in the camera? Yeah. Uh, I can use this format as a podcast, I suppose. I'm really not sure what I want to do with this series, as a matter of fact. Um, I started it because I wanted to combine game making and ASMR, and I hope you find my voice to be relaxing. And uh, the music in the background hopefully doesn't cost too much. I kept it on very low. I'm keeping it on very low. Uh, for a reason. 
I think that um, uh, I think that the, this music is pretty good to listen to on infinite repeat. It's really fun to listen to on infinite repeat, I think. But at the same time, it does get a little repetitive. So, uh, quick effort creation, transfer, Aphrodis Town, right there. So, uh, let's see. Let's go to the overworld. This is Aphrodis Town. Let's quick event creation, quick event creation, transfer. Now, uh, events are a system in RPG Maker MV that allow you to cause things to happen. That's essentially what events do. Events cause things to happen. So let's check out our Ephrodus Town. Alright. We're going to check out Ephrodus Town. This is home base. Canton. Is that what I called this region? Canton? Now it's pretty small, and because I enabled running, um, oops, I think that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Alright, let's see. That was a mistake. That was a bug. Delete, delete. Uh, quick event creation. The fun part about this is playing. Aphrodis. Aphrodis Town. Aphrodis Overworld. Alright, so quick event creation, transfer, Aphrodis. Overworld right there. Transfers you right there. And then leaving through this route, it will transfer you. Leaving through this route will transfer you to the upper overworld. Alright, so let's try this out. Continue. Galaxy's Angels. Uh, let's see. Alright, well, I have to talk to all four girls to get them on my team. Just checking on you. How are you doing? You didn't have to. I'm doing fine, thanks. Alright then, keep the good work. It's a little bit of an awkward conversation, because the relationship between uh, Zelda and Lucy, who are those two characters, is a little bit awkward. Now, Janice is a... Okay, let's see. Alright. I'm going to have to deal with the synthesis, um, what happened? Why isn't the event happening? Alright, this is a bug. Um, oops, did I screw something up? I think I screwed something up. Alright, time for bug testing. Now what's supposed to happen is that, um, the variable a girl's talk to will will count up so that when they all right so when when you leave the house when you leave the house and you've talked to all three girls um all right well let's start this game from the beginning start a new game. Alright, so basically... Oops. Oops. Alright, there we go. New game. I still can't believe I won that bet. You won because the other side was bluffing. Don't get cocky about your skills. Alright, let's just speed through this. Ooh, something happened. 
Oh, I know what happened. All right. Um. There we go. Sorry, I'm bug testing. Well, I don't have to apologize for bug testing. New game. Should I read it? Hey Zelda, how are you today? You don't have to worry about pleasantries here. I thought you knew that. Oh, sorry. What are you cooking? Rice and beans with some salad? That's a little sparse. Can't we have something like meat? Or meat? Don't yell across the house. And we can't afford that. Not with you gambling all our money away. If you want meat, don't worry. She doesn't need to eat meat all the time. It makes you fat. If you say so. Hey, did you just call me fat? It was your imagination. Talk to you later. Wait, I'll be back. Alright, let's save top. And then let's save bottom. I have a system of loyalty points so that... So that you can make loyalty decisions about... You can make decisions about loyalty that will affect how... Um, So basically you can make decisions that will affect the final battle and whether or not they stay with you or they leave you. So depending on your loyalty points and how many loyalty points you gain and how many side quests you do. Agreed. Let's go to Aphrodis Town. So basically I'm going to have them move automatically. Alright, Aphrodis Town. It's night. So basically, let's see, this is pretty simple. Oh, I have to make a hole there. Yeah, I have to put a black hole there. Okay, all right, here we go. We got it. We got this, we got this. Okay, so behind every door, there's gotta be one of these. There. Yep, there we go. <laughs> okay, so what else should I talk about in this version of things in this game I'm making? Well, you could just watch me make this game, I guess. But mapping is the boring part. Uh, I should probably have done this off camera like I made most of this. Uh, middle top. Middle top. George's house. Alright, with 20. By 20. Autoplay Beijing. Town 2. I'm not sure how successful uh, the rest of this series will be. And so uh, I'm just continuing this until. Well, until people get bored of it, frankly. So let's create this house. We color it black. We create. Oops. We create the house. Since this is a small house, it is going to be small. And I'm going to create the walls. Alright, 
So there will be, this is a one room house with a bed, with a bed. Um, let's see, what is there to talk about? What is there to talk about? I'm kind of at loss for a subject. Hmm. Let's talk about religion. People always love talking about religion. So, I hope that you find my voice to be calming enough that you listen anyways. I'm really not expecting anyone to watch this far. Uh, if you have watched this far, uh, congratulations. You are now the awesomest person in the world. In my eyes. I think you are the awesomest person in the world. The awesomest of awesome people. Now where was I? Ah yes. Religion. Religion. What religion am I? Frankly, I uh, consider myself to be a spiritualist. Someone who's sort of just spiritual without being religious of any kind. I don't subscribe to any um, particular religion. I think uh, I think all religions are equally equally right, so to speak. They're all equally correct about the world. Each religion um, has a correct... Um, each religion is correct about the way it views the world. But at the same time, no religion is correct in claiming to be the one true religion. That uh, is actually not true of any religion, including mine. Anyone can get to heaven. It's like there's a river, and each r river is a boat across the river, a ferry. Now, while most people take the big ferries, and some people take the small ferries, I personally have built my own raft and am getting across the river on my own. That is, frankly, my view on the subject. Upper right. So, let's see. Set in family home. 25 by 25. Tile set inside. Auto play background music. Town 2. Play. Okay. So, I personally think that this is just my personal opinion, and your opinion is just as valid as mine. I do not uh, think anyone else's opinion is less valid than my own opinion. I think all opinions are equally valid when it comes to um, religious things of religious importance. And while some people may find that kind of problematic, I personally think that... Um, I personally think that it's 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 fine. I, I guess that's the best way I can say it. Everything is fine. Everyone's ideas are fine. And uh, everyone is equal in their grasp of events. There is no one person who is um, more correct than anyone else. That's just the way things are. And while some people may find that to be uh, unpalatable as an idea, I think that it is at least worth holding. I think that is at least worth holding.
that's that's my opinion on things and my opinion is my opinion and no one else's and that's just how things are there's no changing that really there's no deciding that my opinion is better than someone else's there's no well you get the point I think you get the point so it was pretty interesting how many people uh, I thought this was interesting uh, how many people watched the animation of the Rick and Morty cartoon uh, there was a live stream I saw a live stream of someone creating the Rick and Morty um, fan video whatever it was and there were probably around a thousand people watching at any one time and I think that's pretty amazing actually I think it's pretty amazing that a thousand people would watch someone creating simply because they like it and this series was partially inspired by that the fact that people really people really uh, watched um, that work a lot. It was just work. It was just someone working on an animation. And um, I think that it was pretty interesting that so many people wanted to watch that happen. And that's what this session is based off of. That's what this session is supposed to um, model. As well as this, it's supposed to be an ASMR experience. Well, not an ASMR experience, no. Uh, there is no tingling going on here. There is no tingling going on here. There is simply a relaxing um, environment. Let's call this the Outworthy family. set inside audible background music count to play okay okay I do hope my voice is palatable to you um, I try to keep my voice as nice as possible uh, because but because I am just human and may I may not achieve everything I want to achieve um, I may not achieve everything I want to achieve with the sound of my voice, and I do apologize for the fan in the background, that is, because it is cold in here, as I have already stated. As I have already stated, it is quite cold in here. Quite cold. Um, what else can I talk about? I can talk about anime, actually. I can I can probably do some anime reviews. I can probably talk about my favorite anime. Why haven't I thought about that before? Um, I don't know if any people watching like anime. Uh, I like anime, uh, which is pretty obvious when you take a look at me. Um, my favorite anime, as a matter of fact, is Yuri Yuri. Uh, because Yuri is just awesome. My favorite character of all time is probably Kyoko. Because Kyoko is amazing. She's just so such a bundle of awesome energy. Which I just find to be irresistible, frankly. I like it. It's she's just the most awesome person ever just I, I want to be friends with her because she's just so sprightly and so amazing now my second favorite anime has to be something like Toradora which to be honest is an amazing anime 
Um, and then my third favorite has to be, um, let's see, what other animes do I like? I, I have a big list, my anime list, a long list of, um, anime that I like. I have a long list of that. I have a long list of anime that I like. Um, uh, well, what else do I like? What other animes do I like? I don't know. I'll just think of animes as they come and then talk about them. So, um, why Toradora is amazing? That is an interesting question. Why is Toradora amazing? Well, to be honest, it's because it has just one of the best romance stories I've seen this side of the Yawning Grave. <laughs> no, that's a little bit dramatic. It's a little, a little bit over dramatic. But, um, yeah, yeah. Should I even talk? Or should I just let it be silence? Let it be silence as you just watch me mesmerizingly make this game. This is supposed to be a mesmerizing experience. I want this to be an experience where you just watch this game grow out of nothing. And uh, do I have to narrate it? Uh, I'm not sure. Do you want me to narrate it? Um, you can tell me in the comments. But... Obviously, I'm not very, th I'm not thinking about this very much. Um, okay, let's see. We gotta, we gotta. Um, just create, basically. Uh, there's not that much thought that goes into creating the houses because they're just. They're random. They're essentially random. If I had a random house generator, that would be a lot better than what I'm doing right now, but at the same time, it's it's not got the fun, you know? The the fun of the whole fun of this is creating your own houses and realizing to yourself you go, Wow, I can't believe I actually spent the time to spent the time to make that, you know, it's like, I made that, wow, it's like, I made that, like, gosh, dang, isn't that awesome, isn't that, frankly, pretty freaking awesome, so, I think, I think my point has been made. I don't need to talk anymore. All I have to do is just... do what comes best to me and... make this ASMR session into a game. This is meant to be relaxing. Uh, I say that again and again and again, but I really do mean it. I really do mean that this experience is meant to be um, taken to help you fall asleep or something along those lines. And while I'm not sure how I'll achieve that, how well I'll achieve it, I am certain that I can help you, at least in some respect. I am certain that I can help you in some respect. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'm certain that I can help you in some respect. I said that three times, didn't I? the end of creating Aphrodis Town. Now I have two choices. I can put everything up here and go watch anime. Or I can create the people of Aphrodis in the character generator. Uh, you have not seen the character generator yet, I don't think. But um, the character generator is, well, the character generator. There's not much to say about it other than the fact that you generate characters. And, um... Alright, this guy is going to be safe settings. Uh, image faces. for this citizen one save walk character export Aphrodis Aphrodis citizen one close face image export Aphrodis citizen one this guy is going to be George let's make him George and George is going to be standing George is going to be standing right here Just call him Townsperson. Hello, have I met you before? Show choices. No, but I'd like to meet you. No, but I'd like. you can help me with so um I think so basically there's going to be a lot of side quests in this game and that's where most of the experience and most of the happenings is going to happen so I'm just thinking of a side quest that's going to happen with George so I think that is enough uh thank you for watching if you've come this far, you are amazing. Uh, probably not very many people will come this far. Goodbye. I apologize for the infinite screen here. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty funny. It's pretty unprofessional, though. So, thank you for watching. And I will be back tomorrow with a real video. A real ASMR video. 
a real ASMR video. A real ASMR video. Thank you. You are amazing. And subscribe, comment, like, share, whatever. Thank you.